Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Today, I'm gonna walk you guys through the proper methodology to use when building a fire. Now, there are various methods out there. Some people like the TP method, the stack method. You've seen them, I'm sure, before, but this way I'm gonna show you today is tried and true and will never fail you. I promise you that. Now, most people out there would advise you to use some kind of tinder bundle, paper, cardboard, something like that, add some smaller stuff, kindling, to get it going, and then, you know, have some split logs around to throw on it as a more substantial fuel source as the fire gets going. Maybe something like this. Now, I don't have the tinder and the kindling here, but, you know, you'd end up using logs, something like this, to kind of stack on top once it gets going, and you'd have yourself a nice little fire. Well, I'm here to tell you that anyone who tells you that is 100% wrong. Okay then, Adam, so that's the incorrect methodology. What's the proper methodology? What, what do you start with? Well, I'm glad you asked. Typically, I start with an entire treetop. Maybe something like, say, entire top of a walnut tree that's been sitting for at least two weeks. That's usually a good base. Well, that's usually a good base to add on top of about, I don't know, uh, three or four weeks worth of Amazon boxes from two or three households. That will be a good tinder bundle. And sure enough, there is the top of a walnut tree. You can link that video above if you wanna check out me dropping that big boy. Now that is certainly a good base to start with, but you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit more to keep this thing going. You're afraid that, you know, and that might burn out in two or three days. So you really need to add a few more pieces to up the ante, if you will. So here's what I suggest. If you happen to have a grove of Bradford pear trees, next to your pond, you come out here and you do some work to limb these up because they've overtaken the area and uh, get yourself some more fodder for the fire. As you can see here, there's already been some pre-cut work done, but uh, a lot of material to put on the fire and then probably another 40 of these trees back there that need cleaned up. So uh, once you have your base stacked up, you make these cuts, come out here, maybe grab a tractor with a grapple I hear the applause, people love their grapples. And uh, get to work stacking up a fire. So that is precisely what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk up to the barn and grab my tractor with the grapple and start stacking this stuff up. You might ask why I'm building this huge fire. I really don't need to have a reason to build a huge fire. Um, I'm kind of a pyro. But truly, my wife and her colleagues wanna have a pond party out here in a week or so. And I was asked if I could build a campfire for them so they could sit around it and whatnot. I told my wife yes, and she knew what she was signing up for when she asked me to build a fire. The rest of the girls probably don't. But anyway, I'm going to build a fire that Indy Farm Life only knows how to build. And that would be synonymous with overkill or go big, go home. So they want a fire? I'm going to deliver.
So I have most of this cleaned up, ready for the fire. Got a pile there. Actually, I have a handful of piles. I might try to bulldoze these couple here together. I guess maybe three. And then I got one big boy back there, trying to make as few trips as I can all the way up to the fire or the staging area for the fire, if you will. But this is what it takes, guys, to build a real fire. I want you to know that this is the only way to do it. And if you haven't already and you enjoy this kind of sarcastic humor, hit that subscribe button down below. We're always up to antics out here at the farm. Why not join? I was doing my best to try to stack this up into a pile that might stick together. These Bradford pears are actually pretty thorny, so they do kind of hold together. I'm hopeful that I can get this in one load. Well, this pile in one load, and the other pile's also in one load, but uh, we'll see. I'm sure I'll probably string stuff all the way up to the fire, but let's see what the old deer's got. I am actually quite surprised I was able to get 90% of that anyway. The key is to keep rolling it and smashing it down. I mean, that in and of itself is a bonfire up there. So, uh, I'm happy with that. Let's go stick it on the fire. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is how you build a fire. And I parked the tractor there for reference because the top of the rops up there is, uh, is about eight and a half feet. 
and um, yeah this fires every bit of probably 12 well I guess I should say brush pile it's not a fryer yet but I'm guessing it will turn into one what do you guys think so early on I mentioned that there was a, a TP style or a stack style I prefer this kind of like wigwam style I think this is what you should really be striving for when you're trying to build your fires again this is the the best and most conventional way to do things I'm gonna jump back on here when I light this and I'll probably be standing about 50 feet away after about five minutes so all right guys it's officially time to light this thing and yes the party is going on I'm sure you can hear all the girls over there playing whatever games they're playing but uh I'm gonna play fire you might want to pull it forward like 10 or 15 feet all right that's a straight monster of a fire now no joke that thing has to be 30 feet tall All right, 40 feet tall. Let's get you guys a listen. The girls love the fire from the pond. That thing's serious, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna play a game. I'm gonna get as close to it as I can without melting my eyebrows off and then look up and see how tall it is. Guys, this is intense. Like camping, get it? That's cool. warm well guys there you go that's how you build a campfire that's absurd isn't it i'm gonna go uh maybe jump in the pond because it's really hot right here hit that subscribe button see you guys next tuesday at 9 a.m take care guys